A mole on her ass? What's the joke? I still don't get it. Well, it's not a joke, per se. It's... You had to be there. Real lack of standards, your generation. My day, John was right. A man would never be expected to stand for a remark like that. Fucked up thing is I don't even like Ralph. If he were drowning, I'd throw him a cinder block. But not protect one of my own captains? Besides, it's too late anyway. Come on, gave me the nod. On Johnny? That one's a slippery fuck, huh? You remember those big fish lips of his? Look at this. The fifth question, and the poor prick used all his lifelines. John goes. Carmine's gonna position himself for maximum deniability. So you make it easy for everybody. Take it out of the neighborhood. Well, like an accident? Accident, stick up. He could choke on a chicken wing. The important thing, Johnny disappears. Well, Johnny out, Carmine's gonna put his son in there. Fucking brainless the second. Who knows, maybe there's an upside to Johnny going. Goes to Boston a lot. Visit his father. Could happen up there. You want my advice? You'll call Lou DiMaggio up. The Atwell Avenue boys. What, those sick old fucks in Rhode Island? They may be old, my little nephew, but those dogs can still hunt. My old man used to talk about them. Something to do with drugs. Heroin. Back in the 50s, it was raining cash with that shit. DiMaggio and his crew never saw a dime. A guy they worked for, Lenny Caputo, he didn't believe in it. For 15 years, everyone and their mother was getting rich dealing H. Everyone except these guys. They're eking a living doing hits, uh, running swag. Anyway, lo and behold, one day, Lenny gets pinched for heroin trafficking. <laughs> it turns out the cocksucker's been making a fortune working with the Moulignon. And not only that, he's been selling out his own guys to the feds so he can keep his ass out on the street. DiMaggio and another guy in his crew did eight years on a murder rap. How much for loyalty, eh? You go to Rhode Island, and whatever you do, don't mention drugs. Coke, heroin, not even Tylenol. So what happened to this, uh, Lenny Prick? Lou DiMaggio. His real name's Galena. They started calling him DiMaggio after the cops found Lenny and his wife with their heads bashed in by a baseball bat. Anyway, that was Lou while well, he still had his help.